You can be seated. That's a good question. On my head? Yeah. No idea. Okay. I'd like to welcome everyone to this joyous occasion. Beautiful scenery with beautiful people. Today is a celebration. A celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, of two people who are in it together. You don't have to have a ceremony to have marriage. And when you think about it, the whole thing is kind of weird, right? You're standing here, looking fancy, holding flowers, being stared at by pretty much anyone that's meant anything to you in the past 20 something years. So why do we do it? We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as one so critical, we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. Why this moment? Because despite all of our differences, Love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth. No matter who we are, where we come from, what we believe, we know one thing. Love is what we're doing right. That's why both of you are standing here today. That's why you are all here to watch them stand up here. We've all loved in our lifetime, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the best part of our humanity. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, others long. Some are yet unwritten, while others are just getting to the good part. There are chapters in all of our stories that are sad or disappointing, and others exciting and full of adventure. Nick and Lauren met almost 10 years ago. You believe that? <laughs> they fell in love created a life together, and that's what brings them here. A time to pause, look back, and smile at all the moments that brought them here, and a time to look ahead at all the moments that are still yet to come. I'm here, you're here, we're all here, because we want those moments for you. We're here to hope with you, support you, be proud of you, remind you that love isn't ha happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing our story. It's not one moment, not even this moment, but every moment. Big ones like saying I love you, moving in together, getting engaged, but mostly a million little ones that come in between all the big moments. Falling asleep next to one another, making dinner together, spending holidays with your families, binge watching Netflix shows, getting a big hug when you get home from work. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just what it is with love. It's meant to be felt, not described. But even trying to describe love is one of our favorite pastimes. We use the word we have to write stories, poems, and songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, 
And even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it. And we see it here. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You are both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. You're about to make a promise to each other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to take care of each other, to stand up for one another, and find happiness in another. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. You're teaming up and saying to every other, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be a part of it. Are you ready? Will you, Nick, keep Lauren as your favorite person to laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's toughest moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day. I will. <laughs> will you, Lauren, keep Nick as your favorite person to laugh with him, go on adventures with him, support him through life's toughest moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day? I will. <laughs> will you, Nick and Lauren, be each other's partners from this day forward? Will you bring out the best in each other, share your happiest moments together, and love each other absolutely for the rest of this lifetime and whatever may come next? We will. You both have chosen to wear rings as a reminder of these promises. People often say wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning and no end. But these rings did have a beginning. The stones were formed a long time ago, deep in the earth. Eventually, a series of lucky, lucky events caused them to rise to the surface where someone dug them up. Metal was then liquefied, molded, cooled, and painstakingly polished. Something beautiful was made from raw elements. Just fake it. There you go. You got it. All right. You guys want to like hold hands? Love is like that. <laughs> it comes from humble beginnings and through a combination of serendipity and effort, imperfect beings shape into something extraordinary. It's the process of making something beautiful where it was once nothing at all. As you look at these rings over the years, I hope you remember that. You've created something invaluable. And just as you know you'll protect these rings, I'm confident you'll protect the commitment you've made with one another today. May your marriage bring you all the excitements a marriage should bring. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take notice of small faults. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find loving one another. Nick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> oh, another one? <laughs> It's with great honor and joy to announce for the first time the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Duffy.